hello and welcome back again to my channel in today's uh, tutorial we are going to be doing this pre braid hair so if you are interested to know how to make this hair just watch this video till the end so i'm going to be using two packs of red color uh, brazilian wool on this hair and i'm going to be using uh 20 strands of of the hair so i have uh roped a uh, prepared already so what i'm going to do when i when i put the hair on so i'll first twist the the wool a little before crossing it either way you can also put it before um you can also put it first before twisting it so just twist it once to have um that place in case you want to use it for crochet so um the hair will not pull off so before you do this um uh, braid uh, hair you have to first twist it twist the beginning first so after that you just have to share it equal and start braiding so this is just so simple as that so the reason i'm making this hair i want to use it to make my daughter's hair and i want to do something different for her i want to make it um, make a easy hair for her you know because um this kind of um hair once you do it, it just for you to just install it on their hair. So it save you, it save you time and you like try to struggle. Everybody knows how it feels to make a children's hair. You know, even if they stay in one place, which we don't normally get, you know. So the easiest way is to prepare whatever that will make it easy for you and for your child. So that's why I came up with this idea to prepare a braid which i will be doing more of it because i i am um, the way i'm seeing this thing i think it's working really well for me because uh, she don't have to sit too long for this hair and me too i don't have to stand for too long so guys this is how i continue making the hair while i was making it right now so what i do i don't normally uh, just take the measurement out because i'm going to measure it when i am fixing the um, uh, the bead okay because it is when i bead the hair i will make sure it to make sure okay then equal but not to equal because you know some hair will be at the back and some will be at the front so i'll just just see just wash keep washing and see how i do it and another thing is this kind of braid you can use it uh for a lot of size you can use it as bunny tail you can use it as braid you know but I hope you you will just stay tuned in my channel and see how I'm going to use this braid to make my daughter's hair. Okay, so guys, and if you so to make our kids enjoy making their hair, we have to make it uh, like uh, stressless for them and also painless for them. So in this way, uh, this idea that I brought now is um, like guys, just see how I'm going to use this. Uh, braid right now to make my daughter's hair you i believe you will like the idea so you can use crochets on this hair okay you can also use um rubber band to hold the hair you can use packer to hold the hair to your daughter's hair maybe you have um your child have a, a short hair you can just pack the hair and use um packer to hold the hair or hair ribbon to hold the hair um this uh wool braid to your hair so guys so this is how i'm going to bead it first i'm going to use um i'm going to be using two colors and i'm using three a blue color and one light mm -hmm. light color and it's going to be two blue light one and the blue under just to make it look unique if you watched it this time that means you are enjoying this video why not subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we drop a new video thank you so much and to our returning subscriber thank you so much guys for your endless support we do appreciate you all and we ask that you keep supporting our channel also give this video a big thumbs up comment and share tell us what you think um, about this hair are you going to try it or have you tried it before so how do you see it how do you feel like when you prepare hair and you know how do you feel when you make easy hairstyle for your for your kids so guys so uh this is another way if you don't know also how to uh pull bead you know at times when we make hair that is a bit um too 
big so we don't know how to fix beads so this is another way for you to know how you can use crochet pin to uh, bead your hair see how it is now so it's so easy this way just for you to just um twist it a little use the crochet pin as long as it enter a little just push it in like the bead is really tight on the hair so i don't need to like tie it before i cut it because you know the hair is kind of um uh big so i'm putting the bead this way everything just tight so if i'm burning it now i don't like i don't need to like okay let me tie it first and all that so this is the end of the beading this is the last one and after doing this now it is when i'm cutting the hair that's when i'm going to really concentrate on how i want like some will be be a little bit just a little bit and longer some will be uh, equal so guys just keep watching so this is how they are so if you see the cutting the way i'm cutting it you see that some are a bit just a bit you will hardly notice it just a bit longer because um the shorter one that those are the ones i'm going to put in the back it's just a bit different though very little difference so you see because the hair is big and you see i didn't need to tie it before i start cutting the hair so this is how i cut it one after the other so before i cut it you see me uh, measuring it so now i'm done doing the cutting here is me using um lighter to just burn it and to end it so guys this is the outcome of this hair so guys is it not beautiful so do you like the color that i use like this blue and that light color over there would that be better if i use other color like other dark color or maybe mix blue with white or something so what do you think i want to hear your opinion or i want to know about what you think in the comment section thank you so much and i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching bye